All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa 2013 brought together nominees from a variety of sectors for each of the four judging categories. The finalists in the West Africa Young Business Leader of the Year category are Jason Nyoko, CEO and co-founder of Iroko TV. Obina Akezi, CEO of Wakanao.com. What we were looking for was somebody who was able to um, transcend uh, the, the, the informal sector. We're looking for somebody who's able to bring the informal sector into the formal sector and somebody whose contribution is not only in fact you know um, in the African region you know but uh, but um, you know, whose contribution uh, is on a worldwide basis. The winner and West Africa Young Business Leader of 2013. Please put your hands together ladies and gentlemen for Jason Njoku, CEO and founder of Europa Television. I am actually the CEO of our sister company, iRocking.com. Um, so as in like, I'd like to thank the CNBC, um, the AAPLA. Um, this is actually a fantastic award for us. It validates a lot of the stuff that we've done. Um, it hasn't been easy um, doing some things we've done. I guess a couple of years ago, our focus wasn't on Africa, but we turned that around about two years ago and focused on Africa, the big picture for us. Let's just find out a little bit about your principle for doing business in a difficult environment like West Africa. We have so many challenges. We heard Governor Michi mention several of them. I mean, how did you guys make it work for you? I actually think it's literally just brute force, as in you have to just have the focus. You have to have the determination. You have to be extremely patient. Um, the honest truth is you have to have a level of resource as well, because as Governor Michi said, as in like you are a government unto yourself. We have, you know, gens and standby gens. We run a 24-7 operation. We have our own borehole. We have to, you know, have a direct connection to the main 1C cable as a data business. Um, we deal with the LABA. We deal with a lot of funny, funny business practices. It's a very, very tough environment. I won't even lie about it. But, um, but I think for anyone who actually takes the time and actually has the determination, it's very, very beneficial. You can build a very, very, a very large, sustainable business um, that you can scale because the market, the market opportunities are pretty much endless. Finalists in the West Africa Business Women of the Year category are Biola Alabi, Managing Director of Mnet Africa, Arunma Ote, Director General of Securities and Exchange Commission, Sola David Borja, CEO of Stanbeck IBTC. This was highly debated. Uh, we thought we needed somebody that um, once you say their name, people would identify them with something, be it reform, be it um, uh, contributing to a particular industry category and uplifting that category to uh, global standards. We still believe that we still live in a society that is very patriarchal and hence the promo promotion and also encouraging women. Uh, to be active, it's one of our passion as the city. That is our reason why we want to sponsor the, this category. We just put our hands together for Viola, Viola Alabi, Managing Director, MNET Africa. This is really overwhelming, but because listening to the committee and listening to the criteria, this is really just a vindication and also validation for the importance in what we do. Thank you. What does winning this award mean to you? What does it mean to your business especially? I mean, I think for us as a business, um, the Eminent Africa Magic, this is really an amazing um, award, not only for me, but really for the family. And I think for Africa Magic, we've really 
come a long way. In December, we're going to be 10 years old. We started with one channel that was for, on for six hours, and now we have over nine channels going out to over 52 countries across the continent, telling the African story and really shaping the way people tell stories. So not only are we just a platform, we're also collaborators in telling the story and really reinventing the African brand and the African image. And I think that's really been one of the key things that we've done that we're very proud of as a team. And I think this is really one of those things that just recognizes that effort. The finalists in the West Africa Entrepreneur of the Year category are Teo Avioso, founder and CEO of Pagat Tech. Sim Shigaya, founder and CEO of Conga.com. Fabrice Saweno, managing director and CEO of Voodoo Communications. It is about innovation, creativity, and sustainability. Sustainability of the business model. So even if you are creative and innovative, it must be sustainable. It's not going to be a flash in the pan. One was not looking. One was looking out for those things which had, its, which were not overnight sensations. Please welcome the winner of this category, West Africa Entrepreneur of the Year 2013. Please give a warm round of applause. For Shagaya. I do want to thank the organizers of, um, of the awards. I think these events are very important um, to our part of the world. I think uh, we live in, in an especially sometimes difficult part of the world to do some of the things that myself and my fellow nominees do. So I think this is really encouraging. Thank you so much to our plan, ABN 360. Are you optimistic about the online retail space yeah. in Nigeria and in West Africa? I'm hugely optimistic. I think if you forget all the macroeconom macroeconomic stuff, you get a genuine feeling deep down inside that it's our time. People will buy things. Retail is as old as you know, civilization. Um, and all we're doing is we're providing a new form of retail that's more efficient. I think it's going to be very big. I think it's going to be more profound in this part of the world than in other parts of the world where they had invested in shops and real estate and all of that. I think here it's going to be much more profound. The finalists in the West Africa Business Leader of the Year category are Jean-Louis Ekra, Chairman and President of the Africa Export-Import Bank. Segun Agbaje, Managing Director of Guarantee Trust Bank. Andrew Ali, President and CEO of the Africa Finance Corporation. We were looking for people who've made contributions across the region, uh, not just in the country in which they are situated. So that was you know, very, very important to us. And we were also looking for ethics. We are looking for, um, for, for uh, business leaders you who know, have very strong ethics you know, and who have very you know, strong leadership qualities. The winner is Jean-Louis Ekra from Afrex Bank. <laughs> A round of applause for Jean-Louis Ekra. It's really a surprise for me. I can confirm. Uh, first of all, when I receive an email uh, asking me to participate, in an interview, I first told my personal assistant, look, this thing looks like it's coming from Nigeria. It should be another 419 again. <laughs> Just forget it. Uh, then the organizer called and she said, no, it's that what you did. Remember, I lived here five years. And they went really through uh, a sort of process. And uh, they told us, well, we cannot tell you whether you have uh, won or not. It will be announced on the, on the, during the uh, award ceremony. So I was coming here not only to participate in uh, this uh, event, but also to meet with some of my old friends around. And what a surprise to me to be here tonight uh, in front of you and uh, receiving another award this year. What does winning the Africa Business Leader of the Year Award mean to you and to your business? 
Well, it uh, means a lot. Uh, you know, it's always good to know that people appreciate what you are doing. It's also good to know that you are doing what you are supposed to do. So uh, such a recognition uh, for us is really uh, refreshing and it's an encouragement to continue uh, what we've been doing. The awards also acknowledge a regional lifetime achiever. For the Lifetime Achievement Award, we wanted somebody that had a solid track record. Um, had major investments and inter entrepreneurial activity across multiple companies, so not just one company. Um, at the end of the day, we wanted somebody that throughout their career, they, you could not identify their name with any major scandal or anything like that. We were looking for leaders, not only in business, but in society. We're looking for that. We're looking for people who have been able to create jobs. We're looking for people who have been able to develop people. We're looking for people who um, have been mentors, you know, developed other leaders, you know, apart from themselves, you know, and obviously, you know, we're looking for people with extremely strong ethics, very, very important for us. Staying disciplined and focused. Uh, there are two approaches. One is to say you can go, you can accomplish so many things all over the place. But if you stay focused, like what Bill Gates has done in Microsoft and software, what Steve Jobs had done in hardware, and innovation, right? Now, if you look at and this type of entrepreneur, you say, this guy stayed focused. There were many opportunities that came across this particular group of individuals, but they stayed disciplined and focused. So you either have the consolidated, focused approach, or you had the diversified approach. That is what I, I, I looked out for in this particular. Today, again, is a great rarity, a rare spirit, a rare achievement, a unique journey, a singular attitude, a rare individual who, with every step into the future, leaves history written in his footsteps, a person whose lifetime achievement will leave a legacy for many lifetimes. Recipient for Abla West Africa Johnny Walker Blue Label Lifetime Achievement Award for 2013 is Dr. Pascal Dorsey. Let me start by thanking the organizers of this award program. A major part of your legacy will, of course, be you know, your work in the formation of Diamond Bank with MTN Nigeria, but what would you consider your greatest achievement as a business leader? You really don't know which one is the greatest, uh, but some of the achievements which we made, I think, which I was part of, was when we tried to transit from this country, from a uh, a public sector, government dominated economy to private sector. And then we had to deal with the military to convince them, you know, that military is just a single order command. And then to now tell them that, look, we have to bring in market forces. And uh, the day we had the abrogation of the Nigerian indigenous decree and also the the abrogation of the law 
restricting uh, movement of currency in Nigeria. That was a very good thing because then it meant that you have liberated the, the economy. The winners of the 2013 All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa were undoubtedly deserving of their recognition. The all game changes. If you look at the entertainment industry with Mnet and Africa Magic led by Biola Alabi, Iroko with Jason and Joku, they have exported the Nigerian entertainment industry, not only in Africa but all over the world. And the Nigerian culture it then broadcasted uh, first, I mean, in Africa but in the rest of the world. Then we always complain about the African integration. It's easier to send goods to Europe and then it's sent to, to a, a neighboring country. So there's almost no African integration. When you have an institution like uh, the Africa Simbang is fighting to try to get uh, that integration more smoothly. And that's the future of the country, more integration. Jean-Louis Croix won the award. Um, a guy who probably was a game changer 30 years ago, Pascal Dozier, is still a game changer now by investing in power. And he's, he celebrated, um, uh, we gave him the lifetime achievement. So I believe those, those, uh, those awards reflect where Africa is going and where, where West Africa is definitely going and it's certainly it's all about that middle class that is developing at a rate like it was never done before. West African businesses are not only making their mark on the continent but globally and the All Africa Business Leader Awards is the ABN Group's way of ensuring that the individuals driving the growth of our industries are recognized for their achievements as well as bringing new faces to the fore. The All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa was indeed a night to remember, with West African industry movers and shakers coming together to celebrate each other and the potential of the region. Welcome to this special coverage of the All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa 2013 in Lagos, Nigeria. This annual event seeks to celebrate West African business leaders by recognizing their contribution and achievements to their various industries in the past one year, as well as bringing to the fore new faces that are making their mark in various sectors. Let's find out what inspired the All Africa Business Leader Awards from the man behind the vision. When I was in uh, Europe attending the European Business Leaders Awards and uh, I felt that uh, everywhere in the world uh, corporate leaders are being recognized for the contributions uh, you know, towards the economy and development of people and leadership, uh, we didn't have something like this uh, in the African continent. And everywhere we went, we were only being given negative stories of what was going on in Africa. And there's so much to celebrate here because there are companies that are doing well. Uh, there's excellent leadership in Africa. Right through the recession, uh, African leaders have actually responded much better to the challenges that uh, they were faced with. And I thought it would be a great idea to actually start the All Africa Business Leaders Awards, which we then launched in uh, 2011. Uh, uh, that was the genesis of, uh, of Ablers. The ABN Group's commitment to celebrating and promoting excellence in African businesses is a key element of the company's vision to tell Africa's story first. It is time to celebrate the, the success stories uh, in Africa and, um, and a brand like CNBC Africa brings a lot of credentials uh, to all those success stories uh, on the continent and um, by Looking at the different success stories, we can also see where Africa is going in terms of businesses. Uh, we all know that I mean, like the, this is the fastest growing middle class uh, on, in the world. 
uh, and it gives a lot of uh, aspirations for entrepreneurs to tap into that middle class. Africa is extremely diverse. I mean, it's West, East, and South Africa of totally different uh, parts with different uh, cultures. Even within West Africa, it's all the countries are, are totally different. It's not only about Nigeria, it's about Ghana, it's about Sierra Leone, it's about the Francophone countries uh, from, a, uh, from, from the continent. All those countries are growing around 5% uh, GDP growth. So you can imagine that uh, we probably could celebrate, do ABLAS every month and celebrate a new uh, story, a new business story. So being able to identify five awards out of West Africa uh, makes, makes the game uh, very interesting. By recognizing achievements in business, the All African Business Leader Awards fosters positive competition between individuals in various industries in West Africa. It's important to recognize that there are um, leadership talents at different levels in Africa. Uh, we focus a lot on our presidents and our governors and we find some good ones and we find some weak ones. Uh, but everywhere you look in Africa, you've got people, women, men, youth. Um, exercise in leadership and innovation and I think this kind of um, recognition um, is what encourages others to do it it also uh, brings to the fore what they do and that's not known to others I think if you look at all your nominees uh, including those who did not win um, they, these are fantastic young men and women that are doing great things I founded these awards in 2011 as a derivative of the business leaders awards that are held by CNBC globally these awards are a tribute to those captains of industry who have made a qualitative and quantitative difference to the companies, industries and communities that they serve. These captains are ordinary men and women that have taken extraordinary decisions in the face of challenges and adversity to bring glory to their organizations and to the people that they lead. This year's All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa in conjunction with Johnny Walker Blue Label attracted the creme de la creme of the business community driving growth in West Africa. It also brought together political leaders that create the enabling environment for businesses to thrive. When you encourage competition and when you recognize achievements, there is a saying in Africa and I particularly want to say in my area that if you Tell a man who's done well, thank you, he will do better. So there will be improvement and there will be uh, more competition amongst the youths and there will be improvement in, in, the, in the economy and innovation. And then you'll see people, you'll see development go on in the, in the, in the, in the continent. So I will want to congratulate your group for what they, are, what they are doing and congratulate those who have won this award. On behalf of all of us who are here, I want to say thank you. I want to salute your vision and I want to salute your courage to bring what is certainly emerging as a pathway for African business. I'd like to also salute all of the very big businesses and successful businesses that are defining the promise of Africa and the future that I see on this continent. But I think the lesson of their successes is how it helps us focus on the opportunities we are yet to harness, the opportunities for small businesses, businesses like Conga.com that grew from eight people to 300 people. If we can replicate that, then that is when we begin to really harness the promise and the opportunity, really, of a continuous minimum of 6.5% growth on the African continent. That is when we can dismiss the rhetoric of jobless growth. Because really, the ability of those small businesses to grow into large and sustainable conglomerates is a possibility that really frees up this continent of over a billion people from hunger and from poverty. Tonight, 
We are gathered in a hall that represents the spirit of entrepreneurship that lies on this continent. Five years ago, this would have been a long dream. But this brand is here to stay because of the commitment of entrepreneurs behind it and also because of the resilience and the innovativeness of the people who allow, to lead me, allow me to lead them in Lagos. Whether you like it or not, we have helped to provide the environment that has brought on this business. The winners of this year's awards were selected by a panel of judges comprising of Bismarck Rwane, CEO of Financial Derivatives, Shei Bickerstaff, National Senior Partner at KPMG Professional Services Nigeria, and Oscar Anyama, the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The competition was tight between the nominees, selected from the top tier of industries. When my river rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore, hold me close, sway me more. The quality actually improved in terms of what we're looking out for. Innovation, creativity, more than anything else, audacity to break into new grounds. That made it quite interesting. Uh, also, the fact that the West African region is just beginning to get into the areas of integration, much less than you have in the South African region and in the East African region. So, actually transcending the entire region to find out where the talent was, was quite a, a challenge, but uh, in the end, I think it was, we had the best quality. By celebrating African business leaders, the All Africa Business Leader Awards helps to build a positive Africa image that will go a long way in improving investor confidence and highlighting the opportunities available in the growing West African market. More from the All Africa Business Leader Awards West Africa when we return.